Fox 11 Sports Director Josh Moses. We are here with Josh now, continuing to follow up on a story that we brought to you yesterday. First at 5, the tweet from Winston Moss. And then at 9, his firing by the Packers. And a lot of people believe that it was that social media tweet that we were talking about that caused the firing. Yeah, this is just a very interesting situation, Michelle. Interim head coach Joe Philbin explaining the reasoning behind that decision today. Moss again let go last night, but Moss 20 years experience as a coach in the NFL. This was his 13th season with the Packers, also had an 11 year playing career with the Bucks, Raiders and Seahawks. But here again is what went public yesterday. Again, we showed this to you on Fox 11 News at 5. Moss on Twitter writing this quote, ponder this, what championship teams have are great leadership period. It's not the offensive guru trend. It's not the safe trend. Find somebody that is going to hold number 12, talking about Aaron Rodgers and everybody in this building to a Lombardi standard, period. Losing sucks. Then around 8.30 last night, Moss back on Twitter saying the Packers have informed me that they're letting me go. Then he used the hashtag thanks Twitter. Followed that by saying, quote, I have served the Packers with all of my heart and soul. I've given it my all. No regrets. What happens next? Ten minutes later, Packers officially coming out and saying that Moss had been terminated. Head coach Philbin in a statement said, we thank Winston for his contributions to the Packers over the past 13 years. We hope for the best for Winston and his family moving forward. So that is what publicly transpired on social media. Joe Philbin in person addressing the reasoning behind the move this morning. Uh, you're talking to a guy who's never tweeted in his life, doesn't even know what Twitter is. So, you know, again, it's not about a tweet or anything like that. I just think the fit right now isn't what it needs to be. It's important, obviously, that uh, everybody's on the same page, that we're all moving forward in the same direction. As you know, Winston's an excellent football coach. I've known him a long time. Respect him. An, excellent, an outstanding family man. Uh, so it wasn't an easy decision. Here's a snapshot of Moss's resume with the Packers. He came to Green Bay in 2006 as the linebackers coach. Former second round pick out of Miami for the Bucks was a longtime linebacker in the league. He was then promoted the next season to assistant head coach. He remained an assistant head coach working with the linebackers in some capacity. Then in 2015, his title grew from that assistant head coach to associate head coach. He has been in that role for the last four seasons. Now, this all happening two days after Mike McCarthy was let go. More change for the team, especially for the linebackers on the current roster. Moss, the only coach to coach this group right now, again here for 13 seasons. Here's Blake Martinez on the whole situation. It's just one of those things you, you look at and you're just like, ah, maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Um, but for the most part, it's just happened. and. Obviously, things happen from it. I think he was a very passionate coach, um, loved winning, and loves, uh, I don't know, doing the right thing in those, those moments. But I think things, I don't know, maybe just got to him throughout the year. Moss back on Twitter this morning tweeting, quote, Today, Father, I humbly come to you giving you all that I am. I choose to keep my eyes on you and allow you to work in my heart and mind. Went on to read, I declare that I am free from competition today. Amen. Inside linebackers coach, defensive assistant Scott Curley will take over the coaching responsibility for that linebacker group. Again, Moss was the team's top assistant as the Packers associate head coach. He is the first one of McCarthy's assistants to be released by the Packers since McCarthy was fired on Sunday.